Welcome to the Global Author Podcast. I'm Matt Connor Whiteley, science fiction, fantasy, and a global author, bringing you publishing, writing, book marketing, and a global author ideas of your book to help you sell more books and write better books. For more information and your free global author training, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And here's the show. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 9 of the Global Author Podcast with me, Colin Wiley. And it's the 22nd of October 2020 as I record this. And today's episode is on creating box sets. And this also goes into why you should. And I absolutely love this. I think box sets are brilliant because it was really in August like 2020, which is when I have quite a few like boxes on my like, wider platforms because I'm going to be talking about this like later but the yes I've been having boxes on wide platforms absolutely brilliant because it was it was in August uh, like um, um 2020 and I just sold like quite a few and I was thinking I probably sold about three four box sets but I was making about six dollars from each box set so that was like 24 dollars and I'm thinking well that's brilliant I sold a few books and I made like 24 dollars you've also got to think though Yes, that's $24, so not a great amount, but, but if you think about it, that's just from box sets. Does it include audiobook sales, other ebook sales, um, other print book sales, or large print, or etc. So I think it's just brilliant, so hopefully you will really, really enjoy today's episode. And as always, you, I can always like contact me by like leaving a comment on the show notes to like to share your thoughts on like today's episode at at the, the global author.com and you can also email me conwiley at conwiley.net or you can also tweet me on twitter at the global author.com and as always i love to hear from you and to the uh, sponsored product for today's episode isn't so much an, uh, a product but it's a page on the uh, website yes yeah, so, like, if you go to the global author.com forward slash recommended books it's all like uh, one word then you uh, can find all the books that i highly recommend and there's so many great books and i uh, resources there for like example where there was some books on writing marketing publishing how to run a lot of business there's so many great books there for like example by like joanna penn david gochrin christina catherine rush and so many more great authors that i highly recommend it's like these are books that i found really helpful and they've helped me move forward in, you know, to like move forward in my like author business so i really hope that you find these like useful the website does uh, use uh, like amazon uh, affiliate links and i always like that means that i get a tiny percentage of the income at no extra cost to you yes like these are books i highly recommend it. and and to be honest these are books i love like there's so many great books on there for like for like example like david Cochran's book pub ad experts that should definitely be on there but i do need to update it slightly yeah but even if you're listening to this in like two years time it's still a great um resource because i will be updating this every like six months because so many it was there's so many like great books on being a writer so I'd like that i want to share this with like all of you yes i hope you like you'll find that video really useful like that's the theglobalauthor.com forward slash recommended book yes right let's move on to today's episode so moving on to the contents part of today's episode so we're going to be talking about how to create ebook boxes and why you should um to be honest i absolutely love ebook boxes so not only as a reader because it's a great deal but also as an author because if you make certain box sets you can make a great amount of money just from one sale but again i'm going to talk about this in today's episode and do this original blog post I was actually quite timely because I wrote this originally towards the end of August like 2020 and I actually sold quite a few um well with dollar 99 ebooks like that mum so I was really happy because just from a few sales I made quite a lot of um, money which I was uh, which I was quite happy with and you can do the same so first of all I'm going to talk about how to create ebook boxes then I'm going to go on to why you should Okay. So to make ebook a box set, you do need free book, well, free ebooks in a series, and we're just talking about ebook box sets today. And the reason why you need free, most pools are free, is that it's the best deal for the customer. Because if you get do a two book box, it's a bit. Yeah. If it's a four book box set, it it just looks a bit weird because as readers, we're sort of conditioned on the rule of free, like free ebooks equal well, free print books, free audio books whatever free books in general is a box set so if you do anything outside of that then it does look a tad weird so i find it really really easy to create ebook box sets because all i do is that i put my free books in the same microsoft word software and yes i know most of you have just heaved or, or panicked at me or like rolled your eyes because you're thinking really what who uses that anymore why don't you use like scrivener and I have thought about using like Scrivener and like Vellum, but I'm a PC user and to be honest, I have no, 
no intention of, of switching any at all, yeah, well, any time soon. And I'm just thinking, Scrivener, it does sound great, but I can do it in words. So why would I spend a bit more money? Yeah, a bit more money. And that, you know, <laughs> probably change that in like a few years. But anyway, right now, I'm more than happy with the Microsoft Word. Then like, what I do is that I put all three books in the same Word uh, file. Then I upload it to um, Draft Digital, a great ebook aggregator. Then I use their free formatting um, software or software, which then formats it in EPUB, Mobi file, and PDF for me. And that's how I uh, do it. Yes, and then I upload it onto the wide platforms. But then what I do for um, Amazon is that I use Kindle Create. And I upload the Word file to Kindle, which is a free Amazon Kindle book tool. Yes, and then that's it. You're done. And then, uh, yes, and then you've got your files. Then you just upload it, which I think is really, really good. But if you have a Mac or if you're an Apple user, then use it then because tons of authors say that it's amazing. And it makes formatting fun. I know I'm thinking the same. Formatting fun? I mean, it's not the worst task to do, but okay, it's a bit repetitive sometimes especially when it comes to putting your um, chapters in order like which is what I don't do um some print editions because it would take me far too long to get all the chapters it's like um Gabo books four to six I think in total there's something like 100 chapters and I'm thinking I'm not spending my time formatting all that <laughs> okay so now I want to talk about why do ebook box sets because I can tell you how to do them all what you like but why would you do it? So as I already mentioned, one of the reasons why it's really, why it's a great idea to do it is because it's another stream of income because some because some readers only buy box sets, meaning if you don't have a box set available, then they will never consider buying a book from you. And box is also a great deal to the customer. So I have, uh, yes, I have like a, like, um, a free book psychology box set that goes into biological, cognitive and social cultural psychology. And individually, they're priced at $4.99 each. But then the box is priced at $12.99, meaning that if that sells, I'm going to get $6, $7. But if they sell individually, long term, because long term, I would make more money from buy from people buying it individually. But if someone reads one book and they don't feel compelled to buy another book, then I've lost that money. But if they brought yes, but they, yes, but if they put a box set and they only read the first book, then I'm still going to make all of that money. Yes, that's right. Something to think about. So some of the benefits are some of the benefits are is uh, like I've said, you don't lose readers through um, a read through. And something else that I love about ebook boxes is that if you're a wide author, so you're not exclusive to Amazon, then if you yes, you because know, if you email Kobo right enough, and if you go direct to Kobo then it's so and then you get the promotions tab it's so much easier to get in-store merchandising opportunities if you promote box sets because it's a better deal for the customer so they're more likely to buy it and this is what i love so you can make a lot more money and amazon egg exclusive people here here would be thinking well connor how can you sell a 12.99 ebook and get um seven dollars for it on amazon here's the thing i don't because again because again, Amazon is uh, the only ebook um, retailer that has a price cap at, at $9.99, meaning that if you price your book above that, you only get a 35% royalty. So, here's the thing though I don't have box sets on Amazon, well, the really high priced ones. That's a slight fib. When I do the audiobook um, versions, when I do audio box sets, I do have to put it on Amazon to make it available on Audible. So, that's something that I just have to do. But I only put it on Amazon when I'm getting the audiobook box set done. Done uh, for example, like right now I have a quite a few box sets that aren't on Amazon, but on Kobo, Apple Books, etc. Which is why I'm not exclusive to Amazon because well, Amazon has no right to um determine like my income. I want to price a um ebook like um above their precious nine dollars ninety nine. <laughs> so to wrap up today's episode. So you can create ebook boxes by putting the ebook files into the same Word document and using free formatting tools like Draft Digital and Kindle Create. You should probably do it because it's another source of income and uh, and they can make um, more money and there are some other benefits. So I really, really enjoy ebook box sets. So hopefully I like you've got a few um, ideas like from like today's episode. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you next time. Thanks uh, for listening today. 
I hope you found it useful. For more information, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And if you want to connect, then please reach out to me on Twitter at The Global Author. And you can find me on Facebook. For your free and exclusive Global Author video training, please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash free. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.